going to try to get him to go live with me if he wants to have a chat. Come on. Come on, Mason, come and chat live. You shoot fish, let's talk about it. Mason, Mason, Mason. How are you doing? How old are you, dude? I'm 12, bro. You're 12? Yeah. Oh my god, are you, are you the fisherman? Yeah, I'm the fisherman. Oh, dude. Dude, why did you come in my um, stream to tell us to, that you're shooting fish? Uh, I can't, I, no, I, I didn't come here to tell you that you couldn't fish. I, told, I came here to tell you that you should fish. I should fish? Oh, I thought you said you shoot fish. I don't understand. Okay. Uh, look, me personally, I respect you being a vegan. Okay. I'm just trying to get my point across. I like fishing. You like fishing? All right, this 12, look, this is the thing about social media. Social media has opened up such an intense level of potential dangers for children. Parents out there, please do not give your kids freaking smartphones. Please don't give your young children iPads. Please do not let your kids get on Instagram Live and talk to these people. Imagine if it wasn't just some useful idiot brain damaged vegan trying to convert your child to veganism right this 12 year old is more intelligent than joey carbstrong right this 12 year old is more socially adjusted he takes verbal physical and social cues better than joey carbstrong than creepy carbstrong this kid is more intelligent than joey carbstrong but imagine if this kid was like you know nine ten right there are so many weirdos out there in the world just protect your kids, folks. You don't know what your kids are doing on social media. You don't know who they're interacting with. You guys remember that? Uh, remember the Chris Hansen show back in the day where they used to go on like AOL Instant Messenger and pretend to be a little girl and bait predators into meeting them. It was called to catch a predator. All right? Look at look at Snapchat now. Look at all these platforms that these kids are just using like it's like it's nothing. Right? It's a frightening world out there, and there are disgusting scary people out there trying to influence and even harm children now obviously joey carbstrong doesn't think he's trying to harm a child he thinks he's helping him he's grooming him to be vegan but what other things are people out there predating children over on the internet you gotta teach our children we gotta protect our children from this degeneracy and not only does this go on on the internet this happens in schools as well right the public education system the public public indoctrination centers are where a lot of the breakdown of our society occurs that's the nexus point of the breakdown of society is the public school system so you gotta be careful what people are teaching your children what people have access to your children and what your children have access to it's not all just fun and games out there in the world, guys. There's serious shit going on. So, anyways, let's 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 listen to yeah, well, people... Joey Carbstrong get outclassed by an emotionally, psychologically, and mentally superior twelve-year-old. Be out about that kind of stuff. You don't like I mean, it. I'm not saying that you did. I'm not saying that you did. I know that you do not support me. I don't support fishing. Do you know why I don't support fishing? Why? Because fish are sentient animals and they feel pain and suffer and when you hook them in the face and drag them out of the o ocean they suffocate and, and they suffer in their last moments and it's unnecessary. You're doing it. So you can see the spite, the hatred, the anger, the the twistedness starts to come out whenever Joey talks about the violence on animals. Like these vegans they love talking, they love obsessing over violence. Right? And most of their content is violence pornography. And you can see the emotions come out. You could feel it welling up in him. You could see his face change from his fake little smile to... Because that's what you're dealing with. That's what you're dealing with inside these people. You have twisted, broken, deranged individuals who have poisoned their bodies and minds with ideologies and drugs and a nutrient-deficient diet. And they're out there and they want blood. You do it as a hobby and you don't need to. I do it for fun. You do it as a hobby? 
Oh uh, yeah, it's my my hobby. You should check out my Instagram for my posts. I will. I will check out your Instagram. But dude, uh, um, you know that um, you're killing animals for fun, basically. When you do when you do that, you're killing animals for fun. I don't know. What I'm doing. You don't. You, I like you're, it. You're, you're killing animals for a hobby, but for fun. Yeah. 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 Would you kill dogs for fun? Dogs for fun? No, I have. Hey, buddy, come here. You got a dog. Hey, got a dog. Yeah, I got a dog. What's your dog's name? All right, so it goes on like this for about 18 minutes. The kid totally outclasses him. There's zero, zero social cues taken from Joey Carstraw, and he tries to talk to this boy who's more intelligent than him like the kid's a fucking idiot. He speaks to this kid like he's retarded. <laughs> this kind little boy, highly intelligent kid, stomps him. And then at the end of it, the kid's mom comes. Check that out. He used to be a vegan, but... Who, who used to be a vegan? What's that got to do with what I'm talking about? Because someone in the comments is saying I'll be a vegan don't, don't worry about um, what they're saying in the comments. Listen to what I'm saying. Okay? In the eyes of the pig, do they know they've been made for you to eat? Or do they just want to live? Look. Look at them crazy eyes. They just want to live. It's true. Look, we've got the incident as well as the key. So look, that's how it is. So that justifies it. What if we... Hey, hey, my friend, Mason. What if we bred humans into the world to eat? Would that make it moral? Just because... Like, let's just say we, we, we genetically modified humans to be big enough and juicy enough to eat. We, we bred them into existence for that purpose. So let's just invent a totally hypothetical, impossible situation to try and show that you're inconsistent in your word view. <laughs> This is so sad. This guy, Would that be ethical? Are humans though? So what? So what? How is human bring humans into a world to eat? Easy. The same way we do with pigs. Yeah. Yeah, look. Yeah, look. There's his mom calling. You get in trouble. Peace, brother. <laughs> Peace, brother. See you, mate. Then his, yeah, his, his child's mother. So they always bring up cannibalism, right? It's the same. Eating people is the same as eating pigs. Eating pe You're just like a pig, right? Trying to brainwash children into thinking that they're the same as little animals. Bringing up cannibalism. Just sick, demonic thoughts, right? This, the thought process behind these people is so sick. Um, but I did you guys a favor. That's an 18-minute video. Let's check out my three-minute super edit of the important parts of the conversation. There's Joey Carstrong, the abridged version, the Wicka Wicka remix, Joey Carstrong talking to a 12 year old. Hey Mason, you wanna go live? Hey Mason, wanna come? Come on, Mason, come and chat. Mason, Hello, Mason, Mason. Mason. Hey, how are you doing? How old are you, dude? Uh, I'm 12, bro. You're 12? Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. I like fishing. You like fishing? I will check out your Instagram, but dude, uh, um, yeah. would you kill dogs for fun? Dogs for fun? No, I have a... Hey, buddy, come here! You got a dog? Hey, I got a dog. Yeah, I got a dog. Hey, buddy! What's your dog's name? Oh, name buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. What's your dog's name, dude? Oh, name is buddy. Buddy? Yeah. Let me see, buddy. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell you something really important in a minute when you show me, buddy. I'm gonna tell you something really important, and it's to do with buddy. And I want you to try to, Mason. Ma Mason, I want you to try to think really carefully for me, all right? Um, and it it involves buddy. I've got a I've got a dog. My dog's named Snooky. She's around here somewhere. But you've got a fish. Oh look, buddy. Oh my god, buddy. Hello, buddy. <laughs> He named his dog Snooky. <laughs> he named his dog Snooky. Isn't that the girl from Jersey Shore? <laughs> Wasn't that the Jersey Shore chick? Snooky. Bonus points for Joey Carbstrong there. I've got my own fishing apparatus in the water, okay? And it's got a dog bone on there. A little dog treat. A little dog treat. And, and Buddy sees it. And Buddy grabs it and I hook him in the face and I drag him into the water and drown him, Okay. For fun. Do, you th do they feel like when they suffocate to death? Just drag him into the water, suffocated him. And now you're doing it with me. Now we're doing it together, see? Brother. 
What if I caught Buddy by a hook, dragged him in the water, suffocated him, and then released him for fun? Would you think that's okay? I'm 12, bro. You're yeah. 12? Yeah. Oh my god. Do you think fish avoid a knife in the throat? No, that's the thing. They, they, they love it. Do you think they like it? I think they like being dragged out of the ocean and stabbed. Should we kill each other? Do you know animals do some really messed up shit in the wild, dude? They rape each other, they kill each other. Do you copy animals? No, we don't copy animals. Why are you copying animals? Why? We were... Why are you copying animals? I didn't say we copy animals. Does no. mum cook your food for you? So, I so if I slashed a dog's throat open, I slashed a dog's throat open. If I slashed a dog's throat open, it'd be stunning dogs in slashing their throat open. Like I'm 31 years old, but when when I was 12 years old, I wish someone had this conversation with me. Okay, and Mason, what if we bred humans into the world to eat? We, we genetically modified humans to be big enough and juicy enough to eat. We, we bred them into existence for that purpose. Peace, brother. See you, mate. See you, bud. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> You're 12? Twelve years old. Twelve years old. Joey Carstrong, thirty-one years old. He's a millennial like me. But he's the quintessential soy millennial, right? Social justice warrior. Fighting for social justice. This vegan white soy premisist. Joey Carbstrong. This is how he talks to a 12-year-old. This is how he convinces a 12-year-old to go vegan. This is vegan activism at its finest. All right, let's watch this one. Here's the one-minute vo version, the short and abridged version, right? Take note of how many times... He expresses disgusting, violent acts in gruesome detail to the children. How much he relishes talking about the murder of animals as he considers it, right? Not slaughtering of animals. He talks about the murder of animals. And he believes animals are the same as humans. The humans are just animals. And if you're going to eat a pig, it's the same as eating a person. This is the ideology that people are, people are giving to children. Right? These are sick people. These are sick and twisted people with a sick and twisted worldview and ideology. How are you doing? How old are you, dude? I'm 12, bro. You're 12? Yeah. Oh my god. You got a dog? Hey, dog. Yeah, I got a dog. Hey, buddy. What's your dog's name? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I've, got a, I've got a dog. My dog's name's Snooky. She's around here somewhere, but... You know, animals do some really messed up shit in the wild, dude. They rape each other. They kill each other. Do you copy animals? Why are you copying animals? Why? You, why are you copying animals? I didn't say we copy animals. Does mum cook your food for you? Yeah. Hey, look. Yeah. Look. look. You're getting in trouble. Peace, brother. See you, mate. See you, bud. Well, that was interesting. Yes, it was, Joey. That's very interesting. Very interesting, very disturbing, and very offensive. And if you dare to ever talk to any of my children that way, you would have major issues. And I'm sure many of the viewers here would be quite offended if you attempted to talk to their children like that. All right, so these... Nutcases are all over the place. Right? These people are out there trying to educate children. 
That's pretty crazy. Let's check out. Let's see some more from Joey Carstrong. Where's that browser? All right. Joey Carstrong. So Joey is a perfect. Joey is a perfect representation of a useful idiot millennial. All right. Totally ruleless. No home, no sense of family, no sense of real community. Living in a false internet reality. Making up a false internet identity. And even a false internet name. Obviously his name is not Carbstrong. His name's probably even Armstrong or something like that. Well, he's the quintessential millennial. Rootless, beliefless, godless. Praying on innocent children. Totally insane. Boom. So anyone who's worried about buying vegan options at McDonald's, I wouldn't worry about it. I would support the vegan options where you can. Let them know that you're vegan at McDonald's because if they bring a McVegan burger out, like you don't have to alter the vegetarian burger. You can just bring a, uh, they bring a specific McVegan burger out. That would be amazing for animals. Because you know that I'm a vegan. I'm a vegan. I ain't eating no beef, no pork, no fish, no chicken. Now people think I'm tripping cause